You may have noticed that most plants grow more slowly in the winter than they do in the summer. That's because one or more of the materials they need is in short supply. Plants grow by making molecules using photosynthesis. So we're going to look at some of the factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis and so affect the rate of growth in plants. Now if we look at the equation for photosynthesis, we can see that carbon dioxide is needed. So a lack of carbon dioxide could limit the rate of photosynthesis. And also a lack of light could reduce the rate of photosynthesis. Even temperature can affect photosynthesis because enzymes control the reactions that take place in photosynthesis and they're affected by temperature. You may carry out an experiment to see the effect of changing one of those factors on the rate of photosynthesis. Here is a graph of some results of a similar experiment. We've changed the light intensity. On the horizontal axis, we've got the light intensity from low to high. And on the vertical axis, we've got the rate of photosynthesis. Now you can see that between A and B, as we increase the amount of light, the rate of photosynthesis also increases. So as the plant gets more light, it can photosynthesize more and grow more. But between B and C at high light intensities, even if we increase the light intensity, the rate remains steady, it doesn't increase. That's because there's another factor, not the light intensity, that's limiting the rate. We call that the limiting factor. It could be that there's not enough carbon dioxide or it could be that the temperature is too cool. We could test that by increasing the temperature around the plant and measuring the rate of photosynthesis. And if we find that the rate does increase, if we increase the temperature, we know that the temperature was the limiting factor. Now it's really useful to know about limiting factors if you're a plant grower. In a greenhouse, in the winter, if the light or carbon dioxide levels are limiting factors, you can do something about that. If the light is a limiting factor, you could have artificial lights. If it's too cold, you could have a heater, or you could add carbon dioxide to your greenhouse. By increasing the levels of those limiting factors, you could increase photosynthesis and so increase growth.